Hello and welcome back to another watercolor tutorial. Last week I went on a vacation to the Oregon coast which was just amazing. All of the hills covered with trees were always covered with mist which is what inspired this little painting. I did a few plain air paintings while I was there and you can check those out on my Instagram. I will leave a link to my page in the description box. This is a really simple painting and even more so because I will be only using two colors, cobalt blue and sap green. I create a mixture with those two colors. For this painting, I will also be using a number six round brush. This will help achieve the nice tree shape. To start off, I will get the top third of the paper wet with a little bit of that green mixture in it. Then while it's still wet, get a little bit of the green color on your brush and lightly tap it on the paper, creating triangle little shapes going from top to bottom. You will know it's working because the pigment will spread and that is exactly what we want. Once I've done a row of trees, I will use my brush with just water and rub it around the bottom of the row to get rid of the line the trees made and really fade it out into the distance. I will repeat these same steps with the second row of trees. You want to start this next row a little lower so you can see some white space between the layers. This really helps show the mist. third layer of trees I don't put water down first and I just put the pigment down to create the trees. This layer will be more visible because it is closer in view. You want to make sure that when you mix your blue and green for this layer to add a good amount of water to the mixture so it is still pretty light. The fourth layer is the same as the third layer, however with less water in your mixture. You want this one to be a little darker than the previous layer. The fifth layer is once again darker and more pigmented. This will be the bottom layer, so I'm going to the bottom of the page. With this row, I am adding some watered down trees to just add a little more atmospheric perspective.
once again, I am blending out the bottom of that row with just water and blotting it with a paper towel. Once the last layer has dried, I am putting my last layer of trees. This will be the darkest and I am only going to be putting in a few big trees here and there. That's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!